Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got two small identical circles with area one along with this big green circles as you can see in this figure. Moreover, two external tangents are drawn from the center A as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this big green circle. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect these centers A, B, and C. And we know that these centers are collinear. So let's go ahead and connect them real, really carefully. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And now let's go ahead and connect points B and E, as you can see over here, and point C and D as well. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. So then we can see that the radius B, this radius of this smaller circle, is perpendicular to this external tangent according to this tangent to a circle theorem. And according to this theorem, the angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. So no wonder this radius and this tangent have a 90 degree angle. And likewise, this radius CD, the radius of this larger circle is perpendicular to this external tangent as well. And according to that theorem, so this angle is 90 degrees. And in this next step, let's go ahead and let the radius of this smaller identical circles be r. So the radius is lowercase r. And the radius of this larger circle be uppercase r. And now let's focus on this smaller right triangle AEB over here. We know that the radius of these smaller circles are R. So that means this AB, the total length is going to be simply 2 times R. So thus the length AB is going to be 2 times lowercase r. And now let's focus on this bigger right triangle ADC and we can see that the radius of this smaller circle is R. So this is R, this is R, this is R and this radius of this bigger circle is uppercase R. So the total length is going to be r plus r plus r plus uppercase r. If we add these one, we are going to get 3r plus uppercase r. So therefore, this length ac turns out to be 3 times lowercase r plus uppercase r. Now let's focus on this big triangle, the right triangle ADC. I'm going to call this angle alpha and this angle is 90 degrees and we know that the sum of the angles in any triangles are 180 degrees so that means this angle alpha and if I call this angle beta over here then these alpha and beta are going to be complementary angles. And here's the definition of complementary angles. Two angles are complementary if they add up to 90 degrees. And now let's focus on this smaller right triangle AEB. We know that this angle is 90 degree. This angle is alpha. So then this angle has got to be beta because alpha and beta are complementary angles. So therefore, we conclude that these true triangles AEB and ADC are similar triangles according to angle, angle, angle theorem. And here is our angle, angle, angle theorem. If in two triangles corresponding angles 
are equal, then the triangles are said to be similar. And here's our next step. We know that these two triangles are similar triangles, so therefore we are going to use this proportion property. And according to this proportion property, we can look at this one. If I say this R, this side divided by this 2R, I can write R divided by 2R, this ratio is equal to this side over here, which is R divided by this 3R, lowercase r plus r. And now we can see that this r and r cancels out. So we ended up with 1 over 2 equals to uppercase r divided by 3r plus uppercase r. Let's go ahead and cross multiply. If we cross simply multiply, we are going to get uh, one time that's going to give us 3r plus uppercase r equal to 2r. Let's move this r on the other side. So 3r equal to 2r minus r. That means our 3 times lowercase r equal to uppercase r. And here's our next step. We know that the area of this smaller circle is 1. We know that is given to us. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, which is a equal to pi r square, where r is the radius. So let's fill in the blanks. Area, we know area a is 1. So that's going to become 1 equal to pi r square. And here's our final step. In this step, we are going to calculate the area of this big green circle. And we know the area of a circle formula is a equal to pi r square. So we are going to fill in the blanks a times pi and r in our case equal to 3 lowercase r. So I'm going to replace this uppercase r by lowercase r and then square. Let's simplify. So that's going to become pi times 9 r square or I can write this thing 9 times pi r square. But we know that this pi r square equal to 1 from here. So I can simply substitute that one. So area turns out to be 9 times 1. So that means our area turns out to be 9. So that's the area of this big circle turns out to be a 9 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.